hello friends in this lecture we will see some searching algorithms see in our day to day life we may need to deal with huge amount of data in that huge amount of data if we want to search a particular number or value or element that element is called as key element okay so to search or to find that key element in a large amount of data we use searching techniques so the process of finding a particular element in the large amount of data is called as searching there are so many number of searching techniques are there in our syllabus there are only two searching techniques are there one is linear search second one is binary search we will see first one linear search it is also called as sequential search as its name itself is a sequential search here <coughs> that key element is keep on comparing all the elements in the array one by one one after the other so this search is called as sequential search or linear search once that key element matches with the array element then the search is successful otherwise the search is unsuccessful so here one example is there one integer array is there a of 5 which stores five integer arrays five integer uh, five integers so 10 20 30 40 50 it is not compulsory that we have to take these array elements in ascending order only these elements may be in any order here index of 10 is a of 10 a of 0 20 is a of 1 index of 30 is a of 2 index of 40 is a of 3 index of 50 is a of 4 so here array a contains 5 integer elements 10 20 30 40 50 their indices are 0 1 2 3 4 so for example in this small file element array the key element is 30 then we have to compare that 30 with the first element 10 so 30 is not equal to 10 so then we have to move to next index that is next number or next element of array that is 20 we have to compare 30 with 20 30 is not equal to 20 so then again we have to move to next index that is a of 2 and uh, next index value is uh, index uh, element is 30 30 is equal to 30 when key element is equal to a of 2 now the search is successful once the search is successful we have to tell the location or uh, position of that uh, element key element in that array how to find out a location it is very simple so location will be always index plus one here index of 30 is 2 2 plus 1 is 3 in this array the element 30 is present in the position third advantages of these linear searches it is very simple method and it works well for small arrays and it is used to search when the elements are not sorted or not arranged so disadvantages are it is less efficient if array is large and it is not uh, efficient when the array is already sorted so here one programming example is there for this uh, linear search write uh, preprocessor directives open the main function declare the variables a of 25 array variable which stores maximum 25 elements if user does not want to enter all 25 elements he may enter the elements which are less than 25 also so to store this value we need one more variable n and for indexing purpose of array we need one more variable i to store the key element we need one more variable key 
and to uh, identify the search whether it is uh, successful or unsuccessful we need one more variable that is flag if a flag is a zero search is unsuccessful if a flag is one then search is uh, successful <coughs> Uh, if a flag is one search is successful if a flag is zero search is unsuccessful then uh, print uh, enter the n number of elements here for example in this uh, uh, example uh, i have entered n value as five and enter five values with the help of for loop a of zero a of one a of two a of three a of four seven two nine five three after entering these array elements enter the item to be searched it means computer asks you or program asks you to enter the key element that is for example i have entered the key element as nine after entering the key element start your linear search that is for i is equal to 0, i is less than n, i plus plus. Within this for loop, we start a searching method. That is, if a key is equal to a of i, key is 9, and a of i, i value is here 0. a of 0 is a 7, 9 is equal to 7, condition is false. So flag is equal to 1 will not be executed the control comes out of if statement but it does not come out of for loop again it will go back to for loop i plus plus i will become one again condition is true this time the key value is nine again which is in matched with a of i a of i is a of one a of one element is two 9 is equal to 2 condition is false so again you come out of the control comes out of the if statement but it does not comes out of the for loop it goes back to for loop and increments the value of i i plus plus 2 this time i value is 2 see again here 2 is less than 5 condition is true if true enter inside the for loop and inside the for loop on if statement is there that is key is equal to a of i key is already 9 a of i a of i is nothing but a of 2 a of 2 is nothing but 5 sorry 9 9 is equal to 9 condition becomes true if it is true then enter inside this if statement and flag is equal to 1 earlier value of flag was 0 now it became 1 after that break is there it means that it stops the iterations of for loop here only next comes out of the for loop and if a flag equal to one then search is successful if search is successful then print this statement the percentage <coughs> d position percentage d position is i plus one that is index plus one so here index was two two plus one three so the key element nine is present in the third position okay if flag is equal to one condition becomes false then the control executes item not found here one output is there that is enter n value five those five values are 15 22 31 88 55 in this uh, array the key element is 88 and the key element is comparing with the first element 15 since both of them are not same then uh, condition becomes false and uh, move to next index and the next index value was 22 88 is not equal to 22 so again move to next element and compare 88 with 31 again 88 is not equal to 31 <coughs> and again move to next position next index value that is 88 is equal to 88 so 88 is found in the array if it is found search is successful and if it is successful 
then what is the location or position of 88 88 is present in a fourth location how it is fourth index plus 1 50 index is 0 22 index is 1 31 index is 2 mm, 88 index is 3 55 index is 4 so here 88 index is 3 3 plus 1 so 4 so 88 present in fourth position this is how linear search uh, works in next uh, video we will see binary search